welcome everyone so today i'm going to show you a trick with which you will be able to figure out whether the given number is prime or not okay and trust me this is like a super super easy trick there are few things you need to always remember while using this particular trick okay so now over here what we get is basically see before beginning with trick there are there are few things which i need you to remember one is that any number any number which is ending ending in 0 2 4 6 8 and 5 then that number is directly called as a composite number okay so basically except for single digit 2 and except for single digit 5 all the rest are what called as composite numbers okay this is very very basic you need to always remember this why because see if you remove all the even numbers the half of your numbers are gone right and if you number if you remove from that also if you remove all the numbers which are ending in five there are very the number sample number space is become very small for you to judge whether the given number is prime or not okay so let's very quickly look at a example and we'll start with a smaller one so we have 79 over here all you need to do is you need to figure out which is the perfect square greater than 79 that is what 81 always remember the perfect square has to be greater than 79 not smaller then you do a square root so you get what 9 so now you will write down all the prime numbers up to 9 so that is what 2 3 5 and 7 so we know that it is not an even number so i can say that it is not divided by 2 similarly by 3 the addition of 7 and 9 is 16 and 16 doesn't completely get divided by 3. So again, 79 is not divisible by 3. The last digit is neither 5 nor 0. So obviously, it's not divisible by 3. Okay. Then the rest. So for 7, see, please understand. I have made a separate video for divisibility rule of 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Okay. But... Um, so basically, the link of that video will be available on top. So please go ahead and check it out. For you to judge any number is prime or composite, you need to be aware about these divisibility rules very, very clearly. Okay. Now for 7, what you have to do is, all you have to do is just double 7, sorry, 9, last digit. So 9 into 2 gets you what? 18. And then you subtract 7 from 18, you get what? 11. You need to just make sure whether this answer is divisible by 7 or not. It, is, it has to be completely divisible by 7. If it is not, then I can say that 79 is not divisible by 7 as well. So, I hope you are getting the hang of this. Okay. Now, very quickly, let's look at a bigger number. What about, let's say, um, 1, 1, 9. Okay, so 119, again, it's very close to 121. So basically, it's square root of 11. So let's write down every number, prime number till 11. So 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11. Okay, so uh, understand 2, 3, 5, obviously, they are not dividing 119. Now for 7, let's do the trick. Okay, so 9 into 2 gets you how much? 18. 18 minus 11 gets you 7. So obviously 7 is completely divided by 7. So I can say that this 119 number is getting divided by 7. Therefore, it is a it is a composite number. It is not a prime number. Okay, so I hope you all are getting the hang of it. Students, if you are liking the VM explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Also, don't forget at the end, I'm going to put up a DIY question whose answers you all can mention in the comment section. So now let's look at bigger numbers. Let's uh, see for 241. So now again, 241 is very close to 256, which is what? 16 square root. Sorry, 16 square. So we'll write down all the prime numbers up to 16. So we have 2, 3, 5, 7. 11 and 13 that's it and if you see closely this is not getting divided by all of these neither it is getting divided by 13 as well so i can say therefore 241 is a prime uh, number okay <clears throat> 
स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव मेड अ सेपरेट वीडियो ऑफ रिमेंबरिंग और अदर हाउ टू फाइंड आउट प्राइम नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टू हंड्रेड इन सेकेंड्स ओके सो प्लीज गो एड एंड चेक इट आउट द लिंक ऑफ दैट ऑल्सो विल बी समवेयर अवेलेबल इन द टॉक और इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके सो नाउ लेट्स लुक एट वन मोर ऑफ दीज लेट्स लुक एट थ्री जीरो सेवन ओके सो फॉर थ्री जीरो सेवन All you have to do is again. This is very close to what eighteen square. So we'll write down all the prime numbers up to eighteen. So we have two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, uh, and seventeen. Okay. So now, if you see again, two, three, five, they are not divisible. For seven, again, you will use the same divisibility rule, and it's not divisible. For eleven, all you have to do is you need to what just add the alternate places so we have what 3 plus 7 that gets you 10 and then you subtract the sum with the rest alternations okay so that is what just zero over here so here you get what answer as 10 whatever answer you get here is either zero or a multiple of 11 then you can say that this number is divisible by 11 so since 10 is not divisible by 11 i can say 307 is also not divisible by 11 So now similarly for thirteen and seventeen they are not divisible by eleven. So I can very quickly say that three zero seven is a prime number. Okay. Now let's very quickly look at one more example and then I'll just wind it off. So here again we have what five zero nine. So now five zero nine is very close to what twenty three square. So we'll write down all the numbers up to. Twenty-three. Oh, sorry. All the prime numbers up to twenty-three. So again, two, three. So this looks like six. This is five zero nine. Okay. Five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen. Again, you will see that obviously this is not divisible by at least all these numbers. And if you check the divisibility rule of thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen, it is not divisible by neither of these. so i can say that 509 is also a prime number so now for your diy i want all of you all to tell me whether the number 97 is 197 sorry 197 is prime or composite okay do let me know your answers in the comment section and once again please don't forget to check the divisibility rules because that is going to be super helpful for you, you all to use this particular trick